Over the last seven days, there have been a lot of activity in the real estate market in Metro Atlanta. We are continuing to see inventory grow. We are continuing to see signs of stress as a home seller in Metro Atlanta. First, we had 2,263 new listings hit the first multiple listing service in the last seven days. At the same time, we had 1,120 homes go pending. So that means there were just about 1,100 more listings than pendings, which means inventory in Metro Atlanta grew by 1,100 houses, townhomes, and condos total in the last seven days. We are continuing to add a little more inventory and a little more inventory and a little more inventory. During the pandemic, our month's worth of supply got down to two weeks, which means if you took all the properties that were on the market at that time and divided it by the number of sales in that market area over the last 12 months, there were two weeks worth of inventory. Today, single family detached, not the condos and townhomes. Last numbers we looked at were 3.3 months and condos and townhomes, 3.9 months, almost, almost going into balanced territory from a seller territory on the condos and townhomes, a little more solidly a seller's market, but not a screaming seller's market on the single family detached side. We had 120, excuse me, 1120. We had 1120 closings, 1120 contracts. Interesting similarity there. And we also had 2,377 homes that had a price decrease. For those buyers out there who don't think there are any sellers willing to negotiate, I would uh, question whether or not that was accurate with those 2,377 people. Interest rates have fallen slightly, which is good. They're predicting that the Fed, with the Federal Reserve Bank, will make a rate cut. And people are always wondering, what is the Federal Reserve rate? What does that mean? Well, that's the amount of interest that one member bank charges another member bank. So it doesn't really have anything to do with the loans that are made to you for mortgages, things like that. But it really is a driver. So if the Fed funds rate goes down, then typically the rates on credit cards and 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 uh, cars and things like that, the rates tend to go down. So that is a good thing. So People say, was it still a good time to sell? I say it is, especially if you have a unique property, meaning something that's very difficult for someone to get somewhere else. If you have a property that is average or less than average, I would say it's a little tougher to sell right now. My guess is, is that our rise in inventory will be somewhat temporary. As soon as interest rates start going down, my guess is there's a bunch of buyers who will get out there and start gobbling up properties.